Hey everybody! So with the release of the new Star Wars movie, we're starting to see a few videos on the internet pop up of people having their own attempt at making a lightsaber. Now obviously the real lightsaber hasn't been invented yet. For one, it's hard to get that kind of energy density we need in batteries, and then also it's hard to contain the beams of our devices. But there have been a few cool uh, submissions. Uh, like for one, I saw a guy who made a little, uh, a little portable flamethrower and it had a nice contained beam. I thought that was pretty awesome. But uh, I felt it was out of my character for me to not submit my own creation. So what I have here is a 7 watt blue handheld laser. Now this thing is extremely powerful. Now obviously I can't contain how long the beam is, but it's definitely a directed energy device and it can definitely destroy things. So yeah, let's light some things on fire. This laser is several times over the limit at which a direct hit to the eyes will blind you instantly and forever. So that's why I wear these safety goggles. But man, this beam is so awesome. It totally reminds me of the scene where Gandalf says, Use the force, Harry. All right, let's cut some tape. Or light it on fire, that works too. That's gonna smell great. A paper cup. Igniting a plasma. Some soldering wire. Engraving wood. And a time honored favorite some trimethylborate and methanol. So before I sign out for this video, I figure I better generate, you know, a little bit of hype for some upcoming projects of mine. So see these things right here? These are each 40 watt blue laser diode arrays. So I'm hoping to combine them and make essentially a laser bazooka that's going to be, I can't even imagine. So that's going to be pretty awesome. An even cooler project that I'm working on is building a ruby laser. So I got this giant single crystal of ruby, 1,350 carats, for $40 on eBay, and I'm hoping to build a laser out of it. But instead of using flash lamps like most people use to power this, I'm going to see if I can power it with explosives. So if I can get that thing to work, that would be probably the coolest project I've ever done. So yeah, until the next time, stay safe and happy lazing.